shit. Help is on the way. I'm pretty sure they'll give us another stimulus pack. Stimp a stimp a stimulus package. I mean skimpulous package. Yeah, skimp. I'm sorry, not stimp. Skimp. A skimpulous package. Now, do you remember when you got your stimulus package? And when you got your stimulus package, how much was the price of gas? Think about it. The price of gas here in California was $4.65 a gallon when I received my $312 or $15, $340. It was, put like this, it was less than $400 and my stimulus package went into gas went into my gas tank because at the time I was working doing a lot of driving so I really didn't benefit at all from my stimulus package looking buffed in this little bitty ass shirt so um they're gonna give us another stimulus package the thing is this when they give us this stimulus package will we be in the middle of winter like it won't be before Christmas. You can forget about that. So, uh, if we get another stimulus package, I don't think it's going to be as much as last time. They're going to give you less than $500. Again, it's probably going to be at a time when our supermarkets are in flux next. Where all the prices of food will be so high that when they give us the stimulus package, it'll be about two months worth of food. Um... I truly believe that the new administration is going to do better than the old administration, but not much better. But I believe help is on the way. Help is coming. Maybe if we get together and ask the Red Cross to to, to help feed people, and maybe that will help us. Or maybe we can start lobbying these other countries for foreign aid like they do us. Maybe we need some foreign aid up in this, you know, Help us coming though. Just stand pat. The United States government will give you another stimulus package, just enough to pay your cable bill, your phone bill, take the family out to McDonald's, Burger King, any one of those fast food chains to keep the economy going. People don't know how to cook anymore. We waste money uh, fast food shopping. Um, does the average 18 year old woman know if she goes and buys raw chicken and cook it at home she can probably get three times as much chicken for the same amount of money as going to Kenny Rogers or uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or Pollo Loco or any chicken place does the average young man know that if you buy a case of sodas or a case of beer or a case of whatever you want to get that you save money in the long run if you drink in moderation does the average young person know that when you leave the, the video game on all night and you go to sleep and you wake up to finish that level that you're burning your electricity out just to save the game without saving the game? Does the average young person know that we don't have an, ex an expendable? We don't have a, um, what's the word I want to use? We don't have an expendable uh, uh, money just to buy 56 and 57 dollar video games because it's the new sports game out. I mean, a lot of the things that we do I guess you can call them um, compulsive addictive disorder or behavior. If you like something. Oh, that's sad. But, um, I mean, we throw away so much and save so little and know so little about having so much. It's pitiful. But help is on the way. Our government will help us. I have faith in the United States government. I truly believe that there is some kind of relief coming to the people. I hope they don't plan on thinning out the herd to get what they want. 
Because when they thin out the herd, they normally thin out the ones that have been here. Get the old ones off the streets. That's us. I know who people, I know the people who watch my show. We're men between 35 and 45. I got a couple 65-year-olds up in here too. We're all men between the ages of the age they're going to eliminate. They're going to get rid of us old fogies to save money. Maybe lock us away in jail. Hopefully we'll kill each other in prisons. I don't know. But I know help is coming. Help is coming. There's hope on the horizon. There's hope. There's change. Yeah, they're going to give us some change. And we're going to hope it's enough. Because that's what happened last time. I'm just sad. Because I got a bad feeling. I got a very bad feeling. I was just watching something on the news. And this man said, um, our financial system is so messed up right now that it's going to be at least 10 years before we come out of this. 10 years. That's after Barack is gone. Even if he was the president for two terms. 10 years. Now, people said Bill Clinton's success was a direct link to Reaganomics. If it wasn't for what Ronald Reagan did, Bill Clinton would have not been able to have a surplus of money for George Bush to reverse. We're in debt. There is no cash surplus now. So these financial gurus are saying we won't have a surplus of cash like the one we had when Bill Clinton left office for 10 years. That makes me 50 years old. Now, they got these Catholic people on the news back there telling people who voted for Obama to go to confession because of his stance on abortion. Help is coming. The first thing we need to do is get out of other people's business. If somebody wants to do something, let them do it. I'm sorry. All life needs the opportunity to flourish. But if someone decides not to bring a child in this world because of the troubles and problems we have, if you want a woman not to have an abortion, take care of that child. From the time it is conceived, take care of the mother. From the time she dropped the baby, take care of the baby. If those people out there who don't want women to have abortions or whatever, pro-life people, don't bitch and complain about someone ending a life if you're not willing to pick up the mantle and take that life to the next level. I'm tired of hearing about it. Oh, help is on the way. Our government will not sit back idly by and let us self-implode like they have. Things are going to change. We got a stimulus package coming. It'll probably be no more than the last stimulus package. And the first might be work. I might be going to work. Hold on, let's check it out. Uh, 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 uh. What's up? I'm in the house. Oh, okay, I'm on my way. Bye. Oh, well, you've been too. Now I gotta let my brother-in-law in the house so I can hear him bitch about how great his job is. See you guys later. Bye.